What's up guys, my name is Andy. In this video, I wanna take the pony off the grill and kinda of do a less is more kind of approach. What I wanna put in its place, well actually over on the side, is this uh, the smaller badge that can, uh, I believe this comes on the GT cars. Um, and this would go kind of roughly in, in this area over here. And for those that need that, there's the, the part number. And, uh, but to do this, take this off, we need to take the, the whole grill out of the car. So let's do that first. There are a handful of fasteners that we need to take out. We take one on this side, and if you come over here to the other side, there's supposed to be one here, but mine's missing one. And then down inside here, you can see there's one right here. There's a couple along the bottom. So if we take those out, then we can take this whole piece out and then get to the fasteners that are on the back that hold in the corral. Now that we got this out, we can just flip it around and get to the fasteners on the back that are holding the corral on. Before I put this on the grill, I noticed that this grill is actually pretty beat up. Um, in fact, that the corral was actually helping holding it together. Uh, this thing is, it's got stress cracks on it. The, there's several of these little pieces in here that are, that are busted and separating. This thing, I mean, yeah, you can see kind of, and these aren't, oh, there's a bent out and this grill is pretty beat up. Um, in fact, and I didn't even notice it until recently. That, look at this, it's even got, some overspray on here from when the car got painted. So this grill is um, really not as good as I thought it was. And so and what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put some bolts in here and just use these old brackets to help hold this grill together. And then um, I'm gonna repaint this thing. This thing is really beat up. It's got a bunch of overspray on it from painting. So let's go ahead and get this thing cleaned up and assembled before we put this on here. After putting those fasteners in there to kind of hold this together and make this a little sturdier, I noticed just how bad, I mean this whole thing is just beat up. This thing is just bent on the ends, all the fins are bent in, everything's scratched up and it's, really I just need a whole new grill and I maybe do that down the road. Uh, for now, this is, <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take one of these kind of scotch bright pads and just just kind of hit up, you know, just the edges and just kind of break everything loose. I want to wash it off too, but then just kind of get it centered on a little bit. I know that this is not really the best way to handle this, but this, since this grill is so damaged, I'm just going to go ahead and just reshoot it with some black uh, paint and, and call it a day uh, until I can get a new grill. I don't know that the paint is dry. You can kind of get an idea. It does look a lot better just, you know, putting a fresh coat of paint on here. It does freshen it up. It makes it look nicer, but I understand that that's not the best. I mean, really, a new grill would probably be the best option, but that's okay. This gets us by. Now we can go ahead and put it back in the car so we can get that emblem attached over here. So now it's time to open this up and we'll just get in here and you may find this thing's kind of hard to, to peel off the way that they shrink this on here. There we 
we go. So these little clips that they give you here are what we're gonna push on. But we don't wanna push on now because it's kind of a one-time deal. And we're gonna go and we're gonna put these in the car and I'll show you where we're gonna line it up. So to put this on the grill, we're gonna put it roughly in this area, right about here. But you'll notice on the back side that there are two pins on this end and then two pins on where the bar is. We don't need those on the, on the tail and the head here. We can cut those off and just rely on these two pins on the on the, the stripes and we're going to put this piece from the back side coming through and, and it almost kind of gets almost flush with the front of this grill and that's where that pin's going to come through and that little clip that we were saying don't put on there that's when you're going to put that on there push it on and push it on tight now you could get away with not cutting off these two pins but it's going to it's going to affect the height of this so i'm going to cut those off real quick now, this, again, one of those things where it's kind of a one-time deal, guys. So if you do this, be prepared that you only get to go, only get to do it once. As we put this on here, these, the pins that were there are not going to affect the height as much as they were before. We're going to be somewhere right around in this area, right around in here. And what I'm using to kind of gauge where this goes, you see that fastener down there? And then this one, this rib right here, I'm going to more or less center this thing on, you know, above that fastener and on this rib. And that's about where it needs to be on the grill. So if we put it in this area right here and we can put those clips in the back and push them on. Just like that, guys. They just the clips just push on, and it's a one-time deal. And it doesn't seem like it's on there much, but that grill, that piece, it's on there. See, nice fits nice in there. It's it's vertical. If you want to use the what I've used is the the bar down below here, the bar up top to line up with that center white bar to make sure that it's you know standing up straight, not crooked or whatever. And uh, that's it. That's in there. All right guys, so now we're done. We've got the, the pony, the corral, whatever you call that. That centerpiece is out of there. We spray painted the grill just to freshen up, make it look a little better, although I do need to get a new grill because this one's busted in several places and it's missing tabs for mounting and stuff. So we need to put we need to get a new grill for that. But the horse over there, I think that looks good. It's kind of that less is more. Plus that was the GT, uh, what, the GT350 was how that had, I, I just like that. Plus it kind of goes with the paint scheme of the car, even though it's not a GT350. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because that's my channel out and we'll see you in the next one.